Okay, so is everyone ready? Now let's go somewhere. Go somewhere. What the hell are you? That's the future. <laughs> You're I know what it's for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that is unfrickin' believable. Wow. I got The operating room breakthrough technology is being introduced today at a gathering of neurosurgeons in Washington, D.C. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. You recognize the house? Yeah, well, wait a minute. Oh, don't say that. Without her, us bringing her there, she wouldn't have had those memories. She wouldn't have remembered the neighborhood that she walked in. Magic Leap's technology is built around dynamic digitalized light field signal, which can merge realistic computer graphics with what the user sees in the real world. It's not until like you do a brush stroke and then walk around it that you really understand what's happening. Virtual reality is bringing memorials to them. Cook's daughter and son were also choked up over the virtual tour. This memorial is for him and I think, you know, to have him see that um, and to see an expression on his face, I just, I, I know it meant the world to him. It's a new way to salute aging war heroes. We are not hardwired and experiences can change this one. So is virtual reality the future of home buying? Ryan Serhant is realtor with Nest Seekers, star of Bravo's million dollar listing, New York, and says VR is the future. If you turn to your left, yeah, you I can, can say, see your mum. Say mum. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hello, Rosemary. Yeah, you say hello. Life can sometimes keep people apart, but even though they are on opposite sides of Australia, they're about to experience the birth of their child together. I think he looks like you. Some people say that VR is isolating and antisocial. I actually think it's the opposite. Yeah, today we need this big headset and that's not great, we're working on it. But saying that VR is isolating because it's immersive is a really narrow view of the world that you're all building. Uh, architects, astronauts, soldiers, uh, contractors, all of them using uh, virtual reality goggles in their line of work. The reality is we all have limits to our reality. Places we can't go, people we can't see, things we can't do. Swim, Tim, swim. And opening up more of those experiences to all of us that's not isolating, that's freeing. And it's already starting to happen. So we're setting a goal. We want to get a billion people in virtual reality. How is it able to ski again? Isn't he supposed to ski? Isn't he supposed to ski years old? You made it. You made it so I'm walking. I'm glad that we were able to bring it to you again. Thank you. You're very, very welcome. 